from the Origami Tree. My name is Jenny and today I'm going to show you how to make this Origami Post-it Note BB-8 bookmark. Now this bookmark is unique because it takes advantage of the adhesive part of the post-it note and so you can use it to stick to most surfaces and it's just super super cute. And who doesn't like Star Wars? But before we get started, also note that I have an Origami Post-it Note Darth Vader bookmark in addition to an Origami lightsaber. So after you make this BB-8, you can go and make those. And also leave your comments below letting me know what you'd like to see next. This tutorial was requested by Sydney, so let me know what you want to see and let's jump right in. To make a post-it note BBA bookmark, you're going to need a white post-it note. So this is a post-it super sticky note. You also need some crayons and some markers to draw in the features of BB-8. So I've highlighted the adhesive part so it's easier to see on camera. And the first thing you want to do is you want to fold it in half with the adhesive side facing the outside. After that, you want to unfold and then align this bottom side to the horizontal center crease that you just created. So just fold it straight up and crease that in. Rotate and repeat the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna fold it straight up and crease it in. Now we're going to fold the entire thing in half to create a vertical center crease. and then unfold. After that, we want to unfold the top and bottom flaps and flip the whole thing over. Next, you want to take this bottom left-hand corner and fold it diagonally to align with this first left-hand crease. So we're going to fold it diagonally to create a triangle shape and then flatten. Then you want to repeat the same thing again. So fold it diagonally to this crease here and flatten. Repeat the same thing on the right side, so you're going to fold it diagonally to this first crease, crease that in, and do it again. And next you want to take these two flaps and fold it inwards towards the center. After that we're going to flip it over. So now we're going to take notice of this horizontal crease that we created earlier, and we want to fold it back, and then immediately fold it back up. So from the side, it should look like this little S or zigzag shape. And now you want to gauge how high you want his head to be. So I kind of want him to have a little short head and a big fat body. So I'm going to fold it up to here and then crease it in. And from the side, it should look like a zigzag. Now you want to flip the whole thing over. And you want to take this part over here and fold it up, just the top flap, fold it upwards and bring it up and as you're bringing it up there should be a little triangle shape starting to form over here so you want to collapse that triangle and squish it so that looks like this and then repeat the same thing at the top so you're going to fold it down crease it in and then flatten this triangle that naturally forms then you got to flip the whole thing over and you want to round off the four corners of the BB-8's body. So you're going to fold this back, this one, this one, and this one. And then you're going to round off the two corners for the head. And now you're going to decorate. And now that I'm all done decorating, I'm going to use the adhesive part in the back and stick it onto my book. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I post new crafty fun all year round and I don't want you to miss them. Also be sure to check out the Origami Darth Vader bookmark in addition to the Origami lightsaber. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.